Hello viewers of the Pioneer, how are you doing? I hope you are healthy and well. As the Pioneer team, we continue to bring you the developments regarding Russia-Ukraine war. According to the latest reports, we will discuss the latest situation on the front line with a map. The region is active. Although the Russian army is persistently trying to expand its positions, it cannot succeed. Some sources are manipulating by claiming that the Ukrainian armed forces are in a difficult situation. Of course, this is a war. Every army will surely have difficulties. However, there is a thaw in the Ukrainian armed forces at the moment. So, what is the latest situation on the front line? Let's analyze developments together. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so as not to miss the daily map reports prepared by the Pioneer team and our reports on the agenda. You can also support me and my hardworking team by using the super thanks button below the videos. Let's start if you are ready. The Pioneer Report. Let's start with the Kherson front line. In our previous reports on this area, we mentioned the failure of the Russian troops on the Kherson front line. This failure continues to a large extent. The Ukrainian army is holding its positions. Russian troops are attacking at some points. This is the case of Kriki. However, the attack of this point are still not effective enough to repel the Ukrainian troops. The Ukrainian army continues to hold its positions. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest report, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted the center of Kherson and Krynki. In the contrast, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted Ola Pristan, Oleshke, Kakhani, Pochenyivka, and Kasa camps. Let's continue with the latest developments in the rebooting sector of the Zaprizhia front line. According to the latest reports, there are new gains of the Ukrainian armed forces in this area. We also mentioned this issue in our previous reports. The Ukrainian army has largely seized the initiative in this region. The exhaustion of the Russian troops in the region is also an important factor in this situation. The Russian army has been attacking the western part of Robotin for a long time. These efforts have not yielded any results. Therefore, the Russian troops here are tired and have lost the ability to attack. The Ukrainian army seized this opportunity and recaptured several positions that had fallen into the hands of the Russian army. The offensive activities of the Ukrainian army here are yielding results. On the other hand, the Ukrainian armed forces are also trying to take some offensive positions. There are attempts by the Russian army to attack in the direction of Novoprokopivka and Verbov. However, no results have been achieved so far. It is reported that a large number of Russian soldiers were destroyed, especially during the Russian attacks in the Verbov direction. The borderline is fixed. The Russian army could not make new gains. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Ukrainian positions in Polyavni, Lokovnoi, Pityakhatki, Malashiri Bianchi, and Charnov. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted Russian positions in the direction of Novoprokopivka, Novopokrovka, Kopani, and Verbov. Now let's move on to the Voheldar sector of the Zaprizhia front line. The activity here has increased considerably in recent days. The Russian army is trying to expand its positions here. There are especially intense attacks in the direction of Estromayorsk and Yorkhain. Although the Ukrainian army is under two fires here, it has carried out a very good defense so far. In addition, units of the Russian armed forces are trying to expand the front. As part of the efforts of the Russian army to expand the front, there are attacks with artillery support in the direction of Priyodny and near Zolotoi Niva. But these efforts are also fruitless. The Ukrainian army continues to defend its positions. Let's continue with artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Yorkhain, Stromyorsk, and Vohaldar. In contrast, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted Zavitny Bajania, Estermeli Nivka, Karmianchik, and Novodonetsk and Priyotny. Now let's continue with the latest situation on the Donetsk front line. According to the latest reports, on the Donetsk front line, units of the Russian armed forces, accompanied by artillery support, attacked Novomikhailivka from the south, east, and north. The fighting here is still inconclusive. The Ukrainian army continues to hold its positions. There are also intense clashes along the route on both sides of Kurgorivka Cascade of Pounds. The Ukrainian army is making intensive effort to protect its positions. There are also intense attacking by the Russian troops in Permovskoye. We can say that the struggle here continues on an equal footing. There are also attempts by the Russian troops to advance towards Tunikoi and Severnoi. The Russian armed forces are trying to seize the city itself from the southeast, where they managed to break through the defenses of the Ukrainian armed forces. However, this endeavor is fruitless. 
Long-range weapons of the Russian army are intensively working on the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in the fortified area behind the border between the two armies. In addition, the Russian armed forces are also attacking the Stepnoi. Following the attack by the Russian artillery, there is an attempt by the Russian army to advance to the Novobakhmatovka, which is under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces. The borderline is largely stable. Let's continue with the artillery activity in the region. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Ukrainian positions in Pobeda, Krasnogorovka, and Orchetina. In turn, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces hit Russian positions in Donetsk and the village of Krasnogorovka. Now let's continue with the latest developments on the Bakhmut front line. In the Bakhmut direction, the Russian armed forces continued their attacks on Andreevka and the hills northwest of Klishivka with artillery support. As we have repeatedly stated in our previous reports, these hills are the biggest obstacle to the advances of the Russian army. Therefore, Russian troops have an intense insistence. This insistence has not yielded results so far. Moreover, they faced quite heavy losses. We don't expect any developments here for time being. The Ukrainian armed forces have to fortifications to hold out here for a longer period of time. On the other hand, there is a noticeable weakening in the strength of the Russian army. Therefore, we don't expect uh, border changes here for a long time as well. But the same cannot be said about the Bakhmut center line and the northern flank. It is because the Russian army has made some new gains here. A large number of Ukrainian troops in the Ivanivsky and Bogdanivka areas and previously been moved to the defense of the Donetsk front line. There is a steel defense line. Of course, but it is not as strong as it was before. Therefore, the Russian troops are able to make gains in this area. According to the latest reports, the Russian army has captured several new positions in these two areas. Now let's look at the artillery activity in the area. According to the latest reports, artillery units of the Russian armed forces targeted Klishivka and Andreevka. In contrast, artillery units of the Ukrainian armed forces targeted Yahidny, Prokhivka and the city of center of Bakhmut. What do you think? How do you think the Ukrainian army's gains on the Zaporizhia front line will continue? Do you expect the Russian army to make new gains? What strategy do you think the Ukrainian army should follow? Specify in the comments, because I read and I care about all your comments.